Do you have some ID on you, please? I may. May I see it, please? Absolutely not. Why would you ever oh, need to see my ID? Bro, you're gonna be losing your job, you piece of you're a public servant, garbage. To block my First I Amendment, I'm talking, keep shut on, you, your mouth. Keep, no, you keep on I'm talking, shut your mouth. Guys, with great honor, I must say, we're back with another video. Yes, it's CT3, and I want to welcome you back today. I hope there's someone out there that may get educated a little bit more on their basic civil rights. Today, we're highlighting clips from the channels Maddie Madness and High Desert Community Watch News Network team up together. We got Central Cali News Network, and we also have Quoka. So make sure you use the link below to go show their channel some love. Because remember, without them, there's no CT3. And before the video even starts, go ahead and smash that like button for the algorithm so we can spread this video all over the YouTubes so we can put an end to the misuse of police power because of the lack of knowledge in our basic civil rights. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello, sir. Hello. Something we can help you with here? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Because you can't see your face. Oh, uh, that's, that's all right. You can see my face. Uh, please don't touch my stuff again. All right. You just touched my monopod. All right. Well, they don't want you in this area, okay, here? In the area? Like, because you're, you're harassing the customer, so. How am I doing that again? By reporting them? That's harassing? Yes. Yeah, they, 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 they kind of not. Harassing, very so. clearly not. Okay. Well, is there any reason why you're doing this right now? Uh, well, yes. Okay. Would you care to tell me about it? Nope. Or... Can I take a picture? Oh, uh, well, sure. You can go ahead and take a picture. Okay. I'm just creating privacy for myself. Okay. Yes, my ID on you, sir. Uh, what's your name and badge number? It's Raina four zero three six four. Thank you. Yes, my ID on you, please. I may. May I see it, please? Absolutely not. Why would you ever oh, need to see my ID? Well, because these people have, I guess, have called and complained about you before. Wait, no, that's not a reason to see my ID. Well, yeah. I could. Well, no. If we find there's reason to arrest you, then yeah. So. Uh, well, if there's reason to arrest me, that's still not a reason to see my ID. Okay. Sir, you don't have our consent. Okay. I don't have their consent. So, Five, three, so I, I'm on a public sidewalk. Yes, but you're filming into a private area. That's why there's cover like this. Uh, yeah, so there's cover to create privacy. Uh, so I okay. guess they're all set. So, no, but you're recording them. They want you recording them. voice recording them. Like that. Yeah, well, I, okay. I understand that. Like, okay, just like you like me taking your picture, right? Uh, well, it's not that I, it's not so much right. that I don't want you taking my picture. It's okay. that I was making a point about creating privacy. If you need okay. That. If they need privacy, then they've made a step toward creating that. Okay. If it's not working, that's not my fault. Well, according to them, it is their private property. So, so are you about, filming them? Uh, it's not their private property. They're, they're paradigm laboratories. They don't own okay. this. They're using it. Okay, but they have rights to the building to the area. Sure. Right. They have the right to be there and do their okay. thing. There's, there's no provision for criminalizing uh -huh. filming from a public place into a private okay. place other than doing it through like a keyhole. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm aware that they have problems. Right. I'm not here to cause that to happen. Okay. I'm here to see if they still have problems and if they have come to understand the actual law. Okay. But you see, you're making them uneasy by doing this? I am not making them uneasy. That's what I'm being told, okay? I, I, I understand that they are uneasy. That is not my right. fault. That is not my doing, uh -huh. and that is not my intention. Okay, what is your intention here? My intention is multiple, Okay. and I'm not really interested in discussing that. Okay. I'm more interested in sticking with what's lawful and what okay. law enforcement has to do with this interaction. Okay, this well see, well, they called us, so we're trying to figure out what, what exactly we need to do right. to resolve this, to make okay. each party kind of compliant with what's going on, I guess. Sure. Sure, lack of a better word, I guess. Right. So, let's see what they want to do. And if we have enough to make an arrest per se, then that's what we're going to do. But so, if we don't, then we'd probably just ask you to keep on going. So enough would be, okay, all right, all right. All right, because right, I mean, because yeah, I know you've done this in other places around town, right? Possibly. Okay, because yeah. we have similar descriptions of you at other places, that's right. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all, that's all. So let me go see what we're going to do here. And figure this out. So what would be sufficient for an arrest? 
Oh, uh, something like this will be kind of disturbing the peaceful operations of a, a business. Oh, okay. Okay. So if, if your actions here create a disturbance enough to where they cannot conduct business right. as they as they want to, as they appropriately want to, okay. then that's that's would be that's what they conduct. Okay? Okay. Just like if you go in a show cave and you yell at the clerk card cussing the names, you know, and you disturb his, his way of doing business, his way of working. That seems like a clear cut case. Yeah. Uh, just to just to let you know, mm -hmm. all I have done is walk on the public sidewalk right. and narrate my video in a okay. standard tone of voice. I haven't uh, I haven't interacted with any of the okay. customers or the the people working. Here. Okay. So it's purely right. about filming, which is protected by the First Amendment. Okay. Generally speaking, recording in public is simple. You can film whatever your eyes can see. However, expectation of privacy have very different definitions depending on whether the government is involved or not. Keep in mind some states are incredibly strict, while other states have no laws whatsoever. So if you're interested, just check your state laws to see your expectation of privacy rights. For example, in New York, if you were standing on the sidewalk and take a picture of a residential building and someone is standing there unclothed, You'll be able to legally take that picture and sell it if you want. But in California, that's against the law. You can be here anywhere else you want. You can I can't leave you here. Well, no, you cannot. Not over here. Yeah, I can. That's our security system right here. Dude, I know what I'm doing. What's right. your name and badge number? What's your right. name? Can you read? No, I can't. Then that's not my problem. It's not it's your policy to give your name and badge number when you ask? It's right here. You can't read? I can't read. Then that's your problem. I didn't tell you not to Badge go to school. Number. I didn't tell you not to go to school. Don't 305. English. Don't, don't be f forcing your will right here, bro. I know the law. I know what I can and cannot okay, do. You can read English. What are you talking about, bro? You're telling me not to take pictures. I know I can. Get back into your little room, bro. You're dismissed. Why can't you have respect, bro? How you doing, man? Good. Good. Right. I don't know why you're telling me I can't take pictures in public, bro. As long as you don't block the driveway or take restricted areas, you're fine. Take yeah. this shit. This is restricted right here. That's you can't, what I'm to you tell can't me. trespass my eyes. I can take a picture of anything I can see from public, bro. <laughs> you, did you call me a idiot? You call me a fucking idiot? Santos, 305? Bro, you're gonna be losing your job, you piece of shit. You're a public servant, garbage. You hear me? You're nothing. You see this? This is DHS memo right here. You think I don't know what I'm doing? You're a punk ass, bro. You're a piece of shit, bro. Call me a fucking idiot again, mother You're gonna be losing your job, bro. You know where that is? This is your memo. I can see the Homeland Security a little Yeah, this is your yeah. memo. It's regarding photography in public. That's true. Okay. Yeah. You should okay. know about this. Yeah, that's the current memo. Right. I know. Oh, I know. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh. You're exercising your First Amendment right. Exactly. But this garbage right here, he's not going to call me a effing piece of shit. Because he's going to be losing his job. He doesn't understand that badge and the gun. I gave it to I, I gave him that. Shit. He's not gonna disrespect the public. Think I can't read? I know the law, bro. This clip is a perfect example of two officers with the same exact position with two totally different mindsets. Keep in mind, just because we have a right, it doesn't guarantee that officer is going to uphold that right. So always be very mindful that it's the individual that you're dealing with at that moment. So as soon as you see this officer may not be as sane as you would like, immediately request a supervisor. Requesting a supervisor in the situation could literally be a lifesaver because that'll at least put the officer on notice or that may signal to the officer that you might be that type of person that may actually go file a formal complaint. Something we can help with? No, but... I got all the answers that you need right here. Okay, let me take a look at that. I appreciate it. Both sides. Okay. And for the record, name and badge numbers, gentlemen. Do you, or, have, do you have a badge number? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you have a badge number? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you have a badge number? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you have a badge number? Y
now wish to talk to us or which you gotta pick one of the other? Name and badge numbers, please. You're making contact. 15602. Sir? Ma'am? What, What's your name? What is your badge number? What's your name? I asked you what your badge know, number is, and if you do not answer me, I will hold. Four seven. So what's that? Was that so difficult? No. What's your name? You're dismissed. Is that difficult? You're dismissed. Is your name difficult? You're dismissed. Okay. I don't. You don't actually. You don't say when I'm dismissed or not. Yes, I do. You do? Okay. I just did. All right. Fair enough. And I would suggest you break contact before you be held liable under 42 you, USC section 1983. I am not talking to you, you're talking to me. No, you're blocking you're my view. view. You I'm are blocking my view. 42 view. USC section 1983. 42 USC section 1985 paragraph 3. Break contact and get lost. Breaking contract, ma'am. Thank you. If you continue to stay and in, intimidate me, my attorney will be in touch with your people. I, I will be filing a contact. I will I be filing a complaint. You. I will so. be filing a complaint. Okay. I feel intimidated by you. To block my First I, Amendment. I, 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 I'm talking. Keep shut on, your mouth. Keep, no, you keep on moving. I'm talking. Shut your mouth. Well, you keep on moving the camera. I'm getting out of your way. You keep on moving the camera on me. So. I'm well, that's because you're, you're having contact with me. If you get lost, you, keep on me you won't be having contact. You keep on asking get me questions. Get lost. Do you not want me to answer your questions? Or get lost is what I want you to do. I'm sure it's what you want. How you doing? Good. You're good, girl. Just... Yeah. We got a clown here. He'll be a YouTube star tonight. Okay. Well, again, I keep on moving on your way, but you want to keep on videotaping. So. Well, you're not breaking contact, and you guys are attempting to intimidate. This is for court record. Nothing like that, man. Not at all. Nothing this is like for that. court record. Okay, that, sure. That's fine. We already okay. talked to, to your other partner. Okay. Got a good conversation with him. I just came up so. to ask you what's going on, see if there's anything We're just conducting First Amendment protected activity. This is a way over. It, this is just overboard yeah, as a response. Well, this is overboard as a response. Opinion, but I appreciate that. I that's no, this is First Amendment protected activity. You can not draw any kind of suspicion from what we're doing. Being in the First Amendment at all, but oh, really? Yeah, I don't remember. Really? That. Would you like to challenge that? Here's my wrist here. I'll put him behind my back. You can do whatever you want. I'm not... You want to arrest me for First Amendment protected activity? Go you? right ahead. This is First Amendment protected activity. You guys are overreacting to First Amendment protected activity. When you see cameras out here, don't respond. Leave it alone and you won't be YouTube heroes. Okay. Fair enough. We're photographers. You have to put yourself in our shoes. Oh, okay. okay. Here we go with the day and age thing, guys. Here we go. In this day and age. So, you yeah, you want to keep on talking or do you want to listen to what he's going to say? So, oh, I don't really care what he we, has we to say, but if he wants to bury himself, go ahead. You're not going to hear me out, all right? Cool. That's fine. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. We're willing you to have too. a conversation with you. Let you, let you, do, let you handle your own You're being business. hostile. I'm trying yeah. to talk. You know, okay. Intimidating. All right. Very intimidating. We'll roll it back. We'll roll it back, guys. Okay? The reason why we're out here. And I'm going to speak for myself, not for these two. But the reason why I'm out here is because in the United States, the First Amendment is under attack. You see videos constantly with police officers responding like you guys are over photography. It's ridiculous. We are not the terrorists around here. So you don't mind if I come to your house and videotape you at your house? Is this your house? No, I know. But this is my Do you live here? Do you have a bed here? Do you pay rent here? We have no stays or stairs as long as you remain. As long as we are on public property, on a sidewalk, there should be no problem. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Sir, can I have... I want, I want, I'd like his name and badge number. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, you didn't tell me. But I, I'm asking as a citizen. Five, zero, four, seven. Very good. So let me break down what Maddie threatened the officer with. 42 U.S.C. Section 1983. That section provides an individual with the right to sue the state government employees acting under the color of state law for civil rights violations. The right that the officer be violating is the First Amendment, which states the freedom of press. Also, Maddie threatened the officer with 42 U.S.C. Section 1985, which protects anyone who is deprived of a federal right or privilege that can result under the act of a conspiracy. Just to be clear, these are two different lawsuits that can be filed in federal court. Disclaimer, I am not an attorney and cannot give legal advice. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love and respect to these independent journalists for the great content. Again, make sure you use the links in the description below to show them some love and check out their recent videos. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you won't miss the next video. If you made it this far, comment 777 and I'll give you a heart beside your comment because you are the real CT3 fam. And until next time, peace.